Yeah, I think that in a sense, being anxious and afraid is a bit contradictory to to, to uh, cre creativity. As I see it, it's like you have blinders and you only see that when you're afraid. You just you know need to hold your uh, resources really tight. And when you're creative, you have this open mindedness that allows you to see things um, wider with more possibilities and with an open heart actually. And this is really needed, right? Especially, you know, like in times of, of crisis, change and, and things that are unexpected, unexpected in general, right? I, I, I love what you said there about uh, the openness and with an open heart. And I certainly loved how, you know, the, the way that you were describing it, like we can minors. It's like, you know, it, it, it's like having what I call narrow focus versus open to possibilities focus. You know, are you able to, to do that? And, and can you connect to that, you know, to that heart energy that gives you that passion to make that change? The, I think one of the things that's really interesting is to, to recognize that, you know, without without being able to create that passion, without being able to understand what we're propelling ourselves towards, it becomes difficult to actually create that. We've got to have a vision of what it is we want. And I, you know, I don't like getting caught up in the, oh, what's the vision? What's the vision? That's not what I mean. It's we've got to be able to hold something around what is the meaningful purpose for doing all of this stuff that quite frankly, it's hard. <laughs> It is hard. Right? Well, we're, I totally changing, agree. we're changing habits. We're changing thinking. We're changing process. We're, there's so much we're changing. We're changing perceptions. We're changing assumptions. And that takes energy. And if we don't have something to tether ourselves to, it becomes very difficult to do that well.